Yo, yo, what's up, YouTube? Your boy V. I'm just going right back into a Lucas run. I'm not gonna lie to you. I don't think we got enough of a good showcase for that run. For that last one, anyway. Yeah. It's, uh, we're trying to. What's going on here? We have, uh, free trial items. We got. Metal Panties. That's a name. Uh, make him regret ever touching you. Drop six instant bombs when you get hurt. Uh, launch 10 bouncy bullets after bombs explode. You know what? I've got a bad feeling about this run, guys. I just, you know what? I just, I have this bad feeling in my chest. That could also just be that I'm on basically no sleep. But you know what? We're not going to worry about it. A wise man that I know once said, don't worry about it. And that, that's the whole story. That's his catchphrase. So we're back on Lucas. Uh, I feel like we didn't get a good enough showcase of this character just because we ended up with like so many explosives that um, it kind of just made the fact that we were Lucas entirely irrelevant. I mean, like, right now, we've got a ton of grenades and everything, but it's not quite the same. See, ooh, okay, so that works with the, f uh, okay. I'm not going to bother trying to be cheeky. I'm just going to do the smart thing. So that works with all explosives. It does work with our E as well. So you know what? We will just drop these from time to time, then. Oh, Oh. You know what? That's not so bad. We didn't get hit by our own uh, on damage explosions. Uh, yeah, so this should be an interesting run. We have, we have bomb synergies. We have bombs. What more do you want out of life, you know? I think this is the strat for these enemies. Oh, do I still have my speakers on? Interesting. You all want to just like let me kill you. No. Oh. Other than this run, what is going on today? Um, not much. We're back on attempting to fix my sleep schedule because very clearly did not work. Uh, the last, the last attempt that we took. Uh, yeah, it just it it was it didn't work. That's that's all I gotta say about it. Um, yeah. So we're doing round two. Uh, kill time. What have I done today? I played a little bit of League of Legends. That was a mistake. Um, and play. Actually, no. I'm just kidding. We had we actually had some fun and good games, but you know I can't get it. Oh no, I can get in there. Oh oh, I don't have keys though. Ah, one day. But yeah, played some league. Actually, I had some good games. I it didn't make me hate my life and regret every choice I've ever made. So that's as far as I'm concerned. That's like a halfway decent game of league. You know, um, and we watched uh, we watched Splice last night. Uh, um, I've been I remember like when it first came out, I was really into it, and I like really fuck you would do that to me. Uh, it was a movie that like I really wanted to watch because I was really into the whole idea of genetic engineering and gene splicing. I just thought it was a cool sci-fi concept. Um, but I never actually got around to watching it just because it came out in like what 2009 and I was like 14 then and I just Didn't really like horror movies, but it turns out it's much less of a horror movie than I thought it was gonna be um, Definitely a weird one though um, Not the weirdest movie I've watched this week somehow 
I don't know, remember if I talked about this in the last episode, but we watched another movie this week called uh, Murder Party. Oh, God. Why would you do that? And I mean that in reference to what I just did and watching Murder Party. Um, yeah, that was a strange one. Uh, couldn't tell if it was, like, actually an artsy-fartsy movie or if it was, like, trying to do commentary on artsy-fartsy movies. Oh, I put that way too far. I am not used to the delay. Okay, actually, not too far. It was perfect range. But yeah, uh, it was one of those, like, is it up its own ass, or is it making fun of people that are up their own ass, or is it both? And just doesn't realize how far up its own ass it is. It's been five minutes, Susan. I can say ass. That's how YouTube works, right? <laughs> uh, oh, no, we took damage. So, I don't know how good this run is going to be. I am not the most awake. Oh, God. So, my reaction times are going to be far worse than they normally... Hello? I feel like we keep getting this item out of challenge rooms. I feel like we've gotten this out of challenge rooms for, like the last several runs. Yo, that was perfect, though. Uh, we don't actually want to open that currently, but well played, nonetheless. Yeah, we will definitely take this. We could use our free bombs, but, like, I don't want to hurt myself, dude. It ain't worth it in that scenario. And we got some eggs. You know what? Not a bad floor. We got... Blue brain, nerve system 6.0, right, and smithing hammer, that's a good floor to me. I guess we may as well look at our shop, we're probably not going to buy any of the items, because broke, but yeah. The rainbow would be dope, I just don't think it's going to, I don't think it's even conceivably possible for it to happen, unless this ends up being block, which it's not, it's George. Can block spawn on the first floor? I actually don't know. We could technically farm George forever, though. And just get a bunch of worms, right? If we really... How, how hard do I want to go in on cheesing the game? Is farming, is farming George an exploit? And it, it, if it is, where, where does that stand ethically? Because I think that that's ethically sound. Farm George. Do it. You want rainbow, uh, whatever, anyway. I've already forgotten the name of that gun. Nice. You know what? Just kill him. You're gonna end up getting hurting yourself. But I do kind of just want to see how far can we take this. In exploiting and farming George for money. Oh, we got a ton there. See, this is like, this is why when you're designing a game, don't make ads give XP or drops or anything, because look at this. You know what? I, I take everything back. This was a great idea. You're getting more gold the longer you're in here, too. Oh, no. Well, you know what? I'm glad that put an end to that. So this is, so that's, okay, so that's a strat. And that's a strat we actually might do more often. I kind of like that. That's very on brand for me, trying to cheese the game. Now, do we want Rainbow or do we want uh, this passive? Honestly, the passive. Brave Cookies, Hearts and Shields, I lied. We wanted the, the gun. Oh well, it doesn't matter. It was free, effectively. Like, we cheesed the game to achieve this, so... I don't know. It's not bad, though. I'm not mad about it. I'm just kind of mad about it, because I forgot what that item does. But we're learning, you know? We're learning more items every time we play. And that's the important... Yo, Red Dragon, though? Okay, I should have just waited for this floor. I should have just said, screw it, nothing was good in that room. Uh, we're just gonna do this. <laughs> I knew it. Oh, and it's a... Ch I hate this game. 
Why? Why? Why would you do this to me every single run now? Please, just get in range of my terrible range. Okay. Ow. Yeah. So, that, was, that could have been a good run, but uh, reaction times were not there at all. At all. So, let's get right back into it, because I'm an idiot. Um, down we go. So, what do I like about Lucas so far? Free bombs. If nothing else, like, I mean, free bombs are cool, yo. But also, like, the fact that you drop him at your feet, it's kind of just going to get you killed. Ugh. I hate those enemies. That's not bad. Can we... Okay, I was going to say, can we not get over here? I thought we could. Ooh. That boy just fell from the ceiling. Okay, break some boxes. You never know what you're gonna get. You can ignore those guys down there. They're not going anywhere. They're not causing you any trouble just yet. Yeah. All right, now you come deal with these guys. Please die, thank you. <sighs> So back on the first floor, we can get. So I don't think we're gonna be able to cheese this run as well as we did this last. That last run. That last run was just kind of silly off the bat. Uh, don't have the gold for that. Interesting that it appears though. Can't complain about it, but I might as well complain about it since we can't use it. But yeah. Watching a lot of weird movies. Uh, just a lot of a lot of weird things in general, I suppose. Between oh, this is the minish cap thing, right? Yeah, green cap. We're small now. What does this do for us? Not much. If it actually affects your uh, hitbox, though, that's or hurt box rather. That's kind of good. But outside of that. It doesn't matter. Maybe it just makes it... I don't know if it actually reduces your hitbox or makes it easier to tell you what your hitbox is, but both are, you know, at least some kind of good thing, right? I have no reason to bother trying with that. Honestly, I have no business being in that room. This room, though, I have business with. Hello! Hello, you winged, one-eyed weirdos. One I want home, flying purple people eater. One I want home, flying purple people eater. One I want home, flying purple people eater. I don't remember the words. You guys remember that one? I don't know. That was something I had from. That was, a, that was a deep cut memory. That was like almost like primal in my. Just, not primal, but you know, very basic memory, like ancient times. Uh, we got Berserker Blood there. Berserker Blood ain't bad. Berserker Blood is, uh, it's niche, but it's useful in that niche. There is definitely no other item that gives you multiple bullets when you have low health. Now, is it particularly great? Uh, if we can stack a bunch of heart containers and shield jet, what are you? You're a new enemy. Uh, I, I took stupid damage because I, 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 I just got confused. I don't know what that was. I can't tell. Were they ha did they have shields? I think they were wearing headphones. Speaking of shields. Do we have a shop here? We do also have the ability to go to that piano room now. Oh, I don't have crystals. Uh, I should somewhere. Yeah, I have plenty. 
plenty of pistols around. Apparently I dropped a mine and hurt myself. Yeah. I feel like it's gonna be one of those days for us. So here's the question. Do we want to go to our shop? Or do we wanna go to our piano room? I think you do piano room. Because honestly, we would also like a better gun. We have one shot. Do not miss your chance to blow. This opportunity comes once in a run. Yo. Yeah. All right, let's try this. Ah, uh, yep. I already f fucked it up. Good job, bud. Good job. I do like that, that the piano kicks in again, like, as soon as you step over there. Ah, uh, don't be lazy. Go pick up these other crystals. You're gonna need them eventually. Also, don't be lazy. Just get that. And see, it paid off. Although, did it pay off? I feel like we want three bullets over the extra half part. Uh, excuse me. I'm gonna go to this room. Well, if we were doing it that way, we may as well try to get another half part. Oh, but it's up there, so we can't. Damn. Feels bad. Oh, well. Yeah, we're not gonna play any of the gamble. Just go. Somehow we took damage there anyway, even though we were already through the door. Eh? Oh, it's my good friend Death Ray and Twin. Well, it's nice seeing ya. It is Nick, God of Racing. Uh, somehow I just know that we're gonna die very early in this fight. Yeesh. This is not my better fight. worse, you know? Uh, we, did, we did take a single hit of damage there, but we, we pulled through. Berserker blood is really good in a pinch, but I'm still not sold on its usefulness as a whole. Um, I'm also not ever sold on this item. I like it in essence, but in practice, it's never really felt like I should be using this gun over many other things. But maybe we just, maybe we just haven't found the synergy for it, you know? That's always possible. Maybe you just need a ton of extra bullets per shot, which gives you more lasers, and maybe that's all you need. Maybe that's the secret to this item. Who knows? But the damage, like, uh, coming from the Gungeon background, like, laser guns are supposed to be really good for bosses in that game. Or at least very safe for bosses. And it just, uh, I don't get the, quite the same kind of energy in this game. You know? Not that, not that this game has to be a one-to-one, -one, you know, like Gungeon. But, oh, good job. Treasure map, I mean, cool. I was about to say, if that blew up on me, I was gonna be tilted. Nice, nice. What do we got in here? Um, two guns I don't care about. Fantastic. Excuse me if I'm yawning a lot. I know it's not, but I'm gonna check. Yeah. Right, so, secret room over here. That's all we need to know. I don't know. I don't know, laser guns in this game uh, with like very, oh, that's another new enemy. The squiggly attack. But yeah, I don't know. Laser guns in this game I have not wowed me thus far. Uh, save for very specific situations. I guess I, I should say, like, channeled lasers, not so much lasers specifically. Like, you know, Death Ray, fantastic. Destroyer, 
fantastic. Widowmaker is okay. But, I don't know, man. This one, I'm, I just, I don't get it, maybe. Like, I, it's, it's safe. At best, it's safe. At or rather, at worst, it's safe. You know? You're gonna, because there, there is, like, a, a, a certain, like, homing effect to it. It's not, like, true homing, but, you know, it's there. Oh, darn. Okay, cool, we made it. I wish I could shoot the lasers. Or er, the lasers? Shoot the bombs to make them blow up faster. Nothing up there for us. Heading on to the next room is this. Found our boss room. Our uh, secret room is still off in this direction. You know these enemies. You don't need to get hit by anything here. I think, uh, so far, this game, like, really, like, is a lot of fun in the early game where you actually have to think and try to play well. But then it does, this game just kind of does tend to hit that point where it really doesn't matter. As long as you don't play completely stupidly, like, this, you, you eventually hit a point most runs, it seems. Where you're just be you become too big to fail. You still can fail, but the ability to actually die on a run just becomes so obnoxiously difficult. Uh, this is pointless nine times out of ten because center or bomb melee whatever. Uh, inner eye reveals the whole map. We don't really care about that right now, so we'll take onion helmet. Onion helmet is free. Free, free games, basically. What we got in here? Just a little chest room. A little bit of money. It's not bad, not bad at all. We could buy Guardian. <laughs> I, I forgot that we are tiny. I just remembered that we're, like, actually small. Okay, we could buy... I think there... Well, I don't know what that other gun was. You know what? I say I should learn my lesson from the last floor and just save my money, but I'm not gonna. Soulbringer. We have not seen this before, have we? Unleash potential. Weapon does melee damage. Be invisible for a short time. Okay. Well, there's our melee synergy. So does this have a duration or can I just do this? It looks like I can just do this. Okay. So it's short range, but it pays off. And you have uh, temporary invincibility on your active. So that's not bad. Alright, so now for once, we actually want melee synergies. Or not for once, but you know, for, for a very rare occasion, we actually want them. Although the damage seems kind of bad at the moment. I think that's a, partly a symptom of... Partly the gun, partly just we don't have anything really item-wise. Focus up. Almost dead. There you go. Mad Mass. Rate of fire? I don't know what that does. Is that just... What does that do with a laser? Is it just increase your tick rate or something? I guess we're gonna find out. Uh, yeah. Secret room right here? That's awesome. Please, give me. Not bad. Oh, or, you know, we could just switch to our good friend Death Ray. Yeah. What is that? What is this active? Blink a short distance forward for no call. Yo, that's... Yo, we're Ranger now. Oh, I love Death Ray. Look at that. 
I like that we found several laser items and we finally find the one that I actually like. Okay, there we go. Jump and then fade back. Do, do this game how you play Zelda and DM, dude. Drift in, drift back. Dude, this is my fun, bro. Like, I'm not a crazy fan of charge guns in this game for the most part, but this gun makes it worth it. Yeah, I regret nothing. Check your shop, get a little bit of wisdom. Oh, we need it. Okay, if we can secure the towel somehow, we've won this run. You know how we secure the, the, the towel? Don't buy the gun on the last floor. Stop doing that. <laughs> uh. George, baby George is looking a little tanky, huh? Speaking of George's, I would like more of those so I can get some more coin. Some more coin. There's our boss room. Honestly, we have death ray. We probably could just go right in right now, but we're still looking for our, our regular our treasure room, item room, whatever you want to call it. Oh, those are more new enemies. And they die in one hit with death ray, so what do we care? Alright. Before you go destroying things, get up there. A little bit of sh money. There's some more money. Alright, we need 70. It's probably not gonna happen. Please. The dream is alive, but the dream is also very unlikely. Which is fine. We're gonna try every possible way to finesse another, uh, more more money out of this run, but oh, you hold off on that. You know what? Yeah, that's the right play. Get that. See what's in here. Okay, do this very carefully. You know what? That's worth taking damage there to get to this. Oh, so weird. Damn it. Oh, yeah, we got one. Get those. Nope, nothing else. Oh, we're so close. We also need another key, though. Man. Uh, was this a lockbox? I think this was a lockbox. Yeah, it's a shame. We could buy a key, but then that kind of defeats the whole purpose of us farming gold. You know what? Here's the deal. We're more likely to get money out of here. And we get an item anyway. was 100% the right play. One gold off. If we don't get this one gold, I'm going to be so tilted. You know, let it catch. We really didn't get the one gold. Oh, we have Grabber. Is that what happened? Oh, did Grabber screw us, dude? Oh, no, please. 
Give me George or some boss that generates flies. Or bats, or whatever those weird things are. And please, Charlie, you know what? Charlie, I don't like you, but I've never been happier to see you. And you're not gonna give me anything, are you? We really wanted George. No, we're gonna just let him do his thing. No, he doesn't make more flies. He just hops around like a jerk. Oh, he does make more flies. Can I, like, bait him into hitting Grabber? Actually doing damage to Grabber? No, it's not. Of course it's not. Why would it be? Did that? No. Of course. You know what? It's just not gonna happen. <sighs> well, we've done everything we could. We just had to get Grabber. We just had of all of the pets to get. It had to be Grabber, didn't it? <sighs> Is there any conceivable way for us to finesse a little more money right now? It's basically just this. We're, we are gonna scour, like I am not leaving this floor un until I'm sure that there is no way for me to get one more coin. Why? Because Towel is the best defensive item in this game. It guarantees us uh, a ton of extra life on the final floor. And there's legitimately no reason not to take it. But if we can't take it, we can't take it. And I think, as much as it pains me inside, I think we just can't take it, guys. Oh, that's just our luck. I am 90% sure that, that we did actually drop enough. And I think Grabber grabbed the last coin. So what do you do? You just buy a key. Buy a key. Go to your, re your regular treasure room. And then you just hope the towel shows up somewhere else in the game. It's not the end of the world. We can get through the, the late game without it, but it definitely helps a ton. Uh, yeah, this was a waste of money. Yeah, whatever. Man. And you know what? It really does boil down to what I've been saying this whole run. You know, unless there is like a super good item in your shop and you know it's a good item, just don't buy it. Save your gold. It's nine times out of ten. You're gonna find something better, it seems. And we know this. We know this. This isn't our first run, you know? And look, there's money. Uh, way to taunt me, game. <laughs> uh, I wish you could disable certain pets. But, very least, we're gonna get our um, wisdom room. Jewelry box, use a key, get a shell. Perfect. What a good item. The... The two situations that's ever... What are you? Ritual Mask or Divinity? Do we take flight or do we gamble on this being something interesting? Uh... Eh, flight's overrated. Add a crystal container. Recover hearts by using five crystals. Okay. We lost the gamble, guys. <laughs> Uh, 
Uh, uh, so, to answer the potential question, am I tilted slightly? <laughs> but it's fine. It's not like tilt, til it's just disappointment, you know? But we are more or less, okay, we are more or less, can I stop doing that? We're more or less in the position that we want to be in, though. We have a good amount of heart containers, and we have a... Well, we don't have any shield generation at the moment, but... It's fine. If the moment we have shield generation, the moment this run just blows... The game, though, not even the run, the whole game just blows apart. The moment we have, like, some kind of sustainable shield gen. But... At the end of the day, uh, we, we're also still running entirely on base damage. Like, we do not have any kind of passives, damage-wise. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we have this. We have this fire rate. And that's it. No damage. So, and we're, and we're still doing good damage because you know, Death Ray is amazing. But if we can finesse some damage or something, like the whole game blows wide open, right? Super free. Why? More shields, money. There's a boss room. Just imagine if we had anything over base damage. Damage is good. I just want actual damage, you know? This is the thing that Lucas is good for, though, is being able to not have to spend your grenades for simple things like that. Also, do keep in mind, you do technically have a dodge roll right now. For all intents and purposes. Although our damage is falling off the more the health we get, so, you know. Nice. On the upside, Grabber is occasionally paying out. Not enough for my liking. Not enough for me to be convinced it's a good pet. But, you know, enough to count, I suppose. Speaking of good pets, hello, zombie sister. No, fuck it. We'll, we'll do violence for one floor. How do you win runs? Stay in control of your own gameplay. I've never seen Guardian Sprite thing actually pay out. That's really funny. So there's nothing interesting happening in here. Um, you know, maybe 
I, I don't remember, even remember if that's shot speed or damage per pet, but it's one of the two. Shot speed. Which I think with this just equates to how fast you can shoot. Which, not a bad thing. Or how fast it charges, rather. Which is not a bad thing. Oh, good. McFamily. All three of my favorite things in one place. And here I am with base damage, huh? What a time to be alive. Remember to deal with uh, the, their eggs. Honestly, at this point, you kind of want to be taking damage just so you get extra bullets. So you can get more damage. God, we made it to a damage upgrade. <laughs> I've never felt so excited. 30 minutes into a run. To see devil horns. We are on the fifth floor with no damage either. Fifth floor? Yeah, fifth floor. And we are just now getting our first damage item. And an enhanced stat. You know what? Hey. We're still on a rank one weapon though. So now we have a damage up we have two damage upgrades back to back. I cannot even begin to explain how happy that makes me. And you know what? It's not even a matter of like we should made the wrong choice in a wisdom room either. It's excuse me. It's literally okay, you hold on to that. We just have not had anything show up. The best item we've had show up, we've not even been able to get. Uh, I don't remember what that does. I know what that does, but I did just say we want a weapon upgrade, so we're going to take the weapon upgrade. Uh, we do not want Ares coin. We want Athena's coin. Come back here. Grab that key. Grab that so we can start going for wisdom so we can get Athena. Go through here. Uh, nothing interesting. Move through. Look at that, dude. We have, like, actual size to our lasers now. Isn't that wonderful? What a time to be alive. Imagine how, not finding your first weapon upgrade or damage item until the fifth floor, but then getting all of them at once. You know what? I know it sounds like I'm complaining. I promise you. I'm not. I'm just, uh... You know what? I am a little bit. It would have been nice to have a little sooner. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. And, uh... Yeah. Uh, yeah. But... Patience is a virtue. Kendo Mask is fantastic, mostly. Uh, doesn't help us so much with bosses, but it definitely, it is a form of damage avoidance. And that's all, that's all that matters. As situational as it may be. Damage avoidance is damage avoidance. 
I wish I could say damage is damage, but not all damage is created equal. Do we switch the messenger is the question. That is a lot of shot speed. But that's almost entirely because of our, um, our pets. I think Death Ray is your safest bet still. Because Death Ray is just going to pop off so much sooner. And remain popped off. And it has infinite range. Sure, you have a very small spread at the moment, but... You know. That's not an issue so much. You just gotta be a little more accurate. And our... Useless Grabber... You know, if Grabber is good for one thing, it's eventually giving you a ridiculous amount of money. But... In the case of this run, that money would have been much more useful sooner. It's, it, it really is one of those, like, it's not even like it's a bad, bad run. Like, we're not playing the best yet, we're still doing okay. But there have just been things happening on this run. RNG has not been in our favor, is, is what I'm getting at. And that's fine. We've had some ridiculously powerful runs lately. It is very sobering to have an average run. We do have plenty of keys, though, so you can feel comfortable doing this at least a couple times. But, oh good, this room. This room is in fact useless. But yeah, it's very sobering to find uh, a bad, not a bad run, but a weaker run. You know, don't get too ahead of yourself. But at the same time, as poorly as we have been playing this, I think we're doing pretty well. And I think that just shows uh, even more so the amount of improvement that we have had in this game as a whole. Would I consider us good at this game yet? Uh, probably not. Um, are we probably below the bar? I mean, I don't know where the bar is necessarily, or if there even is one. I don't really care that much, but, you know, if there is a bar, we might be around the bar. I don't know that we are or are not at or above any sort of line. Honestly. Uh, you look for it. Uh, yeah, you, you hate to see it, don't you? <sighs> Tell you, man. This is not a good day for RNG. Headed to the next room. We're fighting Argus. <sighs> you have a lot of health. You have, like, no damage. Fine. In all fairness, we did say what we want very early on in this run was heart containers. So that we had like a good buffer and would lose some hearts and still have a good amount of life. So we are getting that, we're just not using it to its fullest uh, potential. But we're also trying to avoid the damage as much as we are taking it. Um, we really need to get the Athena room, uh, the next wisdom room rather, in the next couple, in on this floor, or the next. Um, and we might just. Honestly, I think if we can avoid damage on this room, which I don't think, I, I already think we've messed up, maybe. 
No, we, we succeeded. Okay, one more room. If we can avoid damage on this next room. Then we definitely have it. Nice. Yeah, cool. Which means we should be able to get our key. Oh shoot, wrong button. Probably not. Yeah. You gotta make sure though. 100% yeah. do that. Damn it. Oh my god. Stop dropping bombs at your feet, dude. Honestly, it wouldn't even be that bad if the, if the like, click boxes were just ever, ever so slightly better. Um, you don't have really have a way to get rid of your things, so profit chip. Well, if enemies drop extra shields, that's... Where's our Athena thing? Do we have to fight? Uh, I would have expected it to show up. So do we have to do violence? I might need to look up how that fight works, then. Because I would have assumed that it showed up, you know, the same way the, uh... Maybe you have to fight, uh, what's-his-face? Well, if we can't do it this run, we will definitely do it next run. That's not so much of a problem. Hip Blast is amazing. Weapon damage is always welcome, especially when we don't really have much that we're working with. In that department, virtual assistant is shield related, right? No. When you lose a shield, guardians, chance you'll get guardian sprite. Yeah. Ultimately not that useful, but it does exist. So, hey. Why is that not good? Can they not die if they're frozen? Is that what's happening there? Apparently that is what's happening. Interesting. Damn it. Once again, we are this far into the run and we have not found a single double jump either. Um, which isn't, isn't as big of an issue as having no damage. I just kind of think that's funny. Uh, that this is like, not, you know, multiple runs in a row, but two runs very close to each other. Uh, money equals... Shot speed, or no, keys equal shot speed. We're not quite at a point where I can like tap it. I wonder if you can get to that point. Alright, our damage is good now, though. Could it be better? Of course. We could have ludicrous damage, but we just. Instead of ludicrous damage, I guess we're stuck with good damage, you know? But I can't, I can't actually complain about our damage at this point. Like, especially with Death Ray. Yeah, interesting. Yeah, I can't really complain about our damage at this rate. Um, and we, we're good on survivability now. Everything's kind of coming together now on the last couple floors. Uh, we're still missing a couple things. Shoot, I meant to take damage from that. Oh well. Um, that said, I'm tempted to switch to this, and I think we are. Um, not anything against Death Ray, obviously, it's my favorite gun, but... Better AoE, and I feel like it might have better damage potential. But, that said, Death Ray has carried us far and wide, but we do want to start going violence. Just to, just to see if we can make that happen. And if I'm understanding how this thing works correctly. Or we could go plastic gun. I think we're gonna go plastic gun. <laughs> uh, I like high fire rate, what can I say? And then we'll take midnight mask, weapons damage when you get hurt. That's not terrible. 
Um, I didn't quite remember what it did. And I, I think if I had, I might not take that. What is our active? Place all items in this current room with random pickups. Huh. Please remember that you're trying to take damage in the in, in, in the room once. Please hit me. It's like once, not twice. <laughs> Violence is easy to, to rack up. It's just very risky on this late into the run. But we're gonna make it work. Somehow. It's kind of already willing itself into existence. Fair. We'll take it. Instead, we're just trying to will it into existence. So that we can maybe still attempt Athena if I now if I think I now understand correctly how, how it works. Uh, pink, we're gonna try, and we were correct, which is gonna put us right at the line. Coming together, dude. Oh, so much gold off that. Definitely play this as much as you can. It's like you get a full refund every now and again, huh? Not bad, not bad. Uh, it didn't really give us anything super crazy. Well, I guess it gave us a lot of grenades and, you know, I could just actually do that and use those. I never feel like they do any damage in a, in a boss fight kind of situation. Uh, especially when our gun shoots like this. <laughs> Damn it. Yeah, I knew we'd take damage there. Have we got one room left on this floor? Yeah. yeah. It is an enemy floor, an enemy room, so you know what? Hit me. Hit me! Thank you. It was not quite enough, but if we take damage on a boss fight, which we can assure what will happen, um, whether we want it to or not. Um, definitely will be, um, definitely should be, I guess I should say, able to go to the violence room on this floor. If not, then I have no idea what's gone wrong. Yeah, this was a much better choice, item-wise. Yeah. Let yourself take damage there. Oh, I accidentally turned the active item, or the item that we dropped, into it. And it did not spawn violence room for us, which is interesting. So I guess we're gonna get it on this floor. Each time you try a slot machine, the more likely you are. Um, that's called Gambler's Fallacy Game. I don't know if you know how that works. Blow yourself up, honestly. Yep. Worth it. Now let's see if we can get some uh, cheeky stuff out of this. Uh, I wish I hadn't like rerolled our passive drop from that floor, but it is what it is. Uh, Destroyer is interesting. That is bad. Garand clip is great. Yeah, that's coming together. And our thing did not spawn, did it? So I guess we're just SOL on this run, huh? Um, yeah, buy the hard hat. No environmental damage. Does that include explosions? We're gonna test it. We do take explosion damage. 
What counts as environmental damage? We just have these common spray of bullets. You know what? Screw it. Violence is- no. You're gonna kill yourself. You know what? We're gonna buy a heart. How does that sound, guys? Oh, this video has gone on so long. Screw it. Do it. Just do it. Oh my god. I no jump height. No jump height. No double jump. Nothing. Okay. Doctor is dead. I don't know when exactly that happened. What gun are you? Swallow. Close your eyes. Yeah, you know what? That seems good. And it's uh, upgrade your weapon in this current room, right? Or increase weapon damage in this current room? Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, that's a new type of room. quite the same fire rate wise but it's it's just about the same and again remember a lot of our fire rate is situational coming from keys and pets we're getting a ton of shields on this floor which is good because we do need to start doing our violence room stuff not like that apparently Environmental is it just like spikes? I'm assuming it's a spike balls and stuff like that. Okay. Well, I I don't have many worries when it comes to us doing a haul at the moment. Oh my god. Although, you know, things could just happen like that. Taking a ton of damage. Boss room is there. Um, we're still missing our item room and our secret room. So let's try to track those down. Not quite ready to give up on this floor yet, especially when, again, there is an item room laying around. Laying in wait patiently for us to arrive. Throw. That was actually a better throw. I just realized we're on half the heart. Well, it's been a fun run. Uh -huh. Don't know where we're taking a lot of this damage from, but it is what it is. That is an acorn. Eggs and block bullets from enemies. You know what? Cool. Let's try our secret room. Is it one of those secret rooms you can just walk into and you don't need a grenade? It's not. Please, something good. I mean, it's something with potential.
good. <laughs> At least I'm like paying attention to it now and I'm like aware that it's happening, but uh, it might just be too late. Oh, hello, friend. I can take two hits of damage from you. You think I can kill you in that amount of time? I know. Nope. <sighs> All right, well, this has been a very long video. I might even like cut the first bit out of it. We'll see what happens. Uh, thank you guys for watching. It's been a very stressful video. Um, tends to be the case with Lucas. Um, I like the grenade mechanic. Making it work without hurting myself is probably just I'm not big brain enough for it, but I like the ability to cheese um, stone chests and walls and secret rooms. Very nice. Um, all right. Hope you guys had a good time watching. Thank you for watching. Made it to the end of the video. Um, if you had a dolphin, what would you name it, dude? Uh, comment, like, subscribe, dislike it if you dislike it, ring the bell if you want more, and follow me on Twitter to keep up to date with everything that we got going on, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Love you. Bye.